I'm Barry Abraham. This three minute lesson is about creating product groups for product listing ads in AdWords. I'm going to explain what product groups are, how they are created, and some key things you need to know about them. To manage your product listing ads in AdWords, you create product groups. Product groups exist within ad groups in AdWords. The purpose of product groups is to separate and organize groups of products in a way that makes sense for your business. After you create your groups, you can then apply different bids to the groups. Product groups are defined by attributes. When you create your data feed in Google Merchant Center, each row represents a different product. The columns represent attributes of those products. Creating the product groups involves doing the grouping by attribute. It's not possible to choose any attribute in your feed to create product groups. These are the ones AdWords will let you use. Item ID. That's the identifier ID for each product. Brand. Category. Google has a preset product category taxonomy, so you must pick a category within that taxonomy. Product type. This attribute is assigned by the merchant and can contain descriptive information. Condition, such as new, used, or refurbished. Or custom label. Merchants can create up to five custom labels in their data feed. Running shopping campaigns in AdWords can become a complicated task. It requires dealing with several different components and platforms and making sure they are compatible, synchronized, and optimized. For example, if product information changes on your website, such as the price or availability, those changes need to be made immediately in your Merchant Center product feed. Also, if there are major revisions to your data feed, it could adversely affect the way your product groups are organized in AdWords. Make sure to have a well thought out strategy and management plan from the beginning. This allows you to make changes and updates in a fluid and consistent way. If you have questions, just shoot me an email. If you'd like to download my cheat sheets or see more 3-minute videos, go to 3minuteadwords.com.